Everyone in the entire Fun Home family is forever grateful. You have changed our major to miracle. <laughs> Creating a Broadway musical means years of asking yourself, will this ever happen? <laughs> so to our fellow nominees, we salute you for never giving up and for creating these amazing shows that have made this a truly fantastic Broadway season. We celebrate the miracle of your work. Fun Home won for Best Director, won Best Actor, won Best Musical, as well as a number of other awards. Ladies and gentlemen, St. Louis's own Mike Isaacson, the producer. Mike, have you gone to sleep at all from last night? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to, uh, I think I got to sleep about 4 or 4.30. Okay. And, um, so, Yeah. <laughs> okay, well, you're up early, and we thank you for a very busy day. Congratulations. Um, thank you. I, I, can you put into words what you were feeling as you were walking down the aisle last night? It was total astonishment. Um, I, I, it's going to take me a while to process it. I, it just was such shock and such joy and such freaking out that, oh, we have to do this. Um, and I had sort of, I don't know why, but going, going into it, we really didn't know. And I, I had just never really thought this was going to happen. So I was just, it, it was, it was mind blowing. How many years have you worked on this, getting it to the Broadway stage? We were, we took about five years, which is typical for a, a musical. They take a long time. They take five to seven. What was, um, what was it about the novel Fun Home that you saw it and you said that's a musical? It's such a great question. You know, musicals, when you see a musical and it's not good and you sit there and you go, well, this feels like it's good. Why isn't it good? It's because there has to be a real reason for people to sing. There has to be a reason for a character to suddenly make that leap. And what was fascinating about Fun Home and her story and the story of her, her mother and father and and that was they were in a house where there was a lot of silence and things were going on and they weren't talking about them. And that, that to me, gave it room for music. That gave you room for expression and, and the things that music do for us as people. They, they, the music is something that, you know, it goes beyond logic. It goes to someplace else for, for all of us. And I, the story was just ripe with that. And I very rarely have that reaction. I really do. Most things, you're like, that ain't a great musical, and I'm like, no, not really, you know, um, because they're complete already, but this had, had, had that. It's, it's, and it was mentioned last night, I think, in the acceptance speech, it's not a typical musical. You, you, you didn't make a typical musical. This is very atypical of what a musical is. Yeah, and I think that's why everybody's, you know, most musicals, and I've done a lot of musical comedies, I love musical comedies, that the, the whole thing sort of, as it builds and builds, it kind of lifts you further and higher. This musical just keeps, you sit there as an audience member, and it just keeps going to, a, a, like, a deeper truth and a, another moment of beauty or poignancy, and you just keep going deeper and deeper, and you just, you feel so much, and everybody is, is this, uh, um, um, it's just, it's different, it doesn't, it just, it isn't what you expect, but people, what, that's the amazing thing. People have just just responded to it and, and given to it to their hearts. So it's, it's yeah. Twelve you, nominations. Did you guys expect to win, do so well last night? Um, no, I mean, no, that, that well, I mean, the, the odds, you know, you sort of look at the math and you go, okay, hopefully we'll come up with at least a few. 
I mean, when, when, when we started with Lisa and Janine for score, that was monumental, and then Lisa for book, and then Sam. I mean, those are major book score direction. That, that's, that's the community saying the artistic work is great. This is uh, am- amazing. So if, if we had stopped at those three, honestly, I, I'd still be joyously happy. Um, so the fact that Michael was also honored and then, you know, best musical... It, it, it's a weird thing. There's 840 vote, voters. There's all this conventional wisdom, but the truth is, no one really knows. Like how you, you can't even really be strategic about it. All you can do is, you know, have your show and people come, and you know they responded to it. You've won a number of Tonys. Where does this one rank in the list of Tony Award winnings? Um, this one, this one feels for me. Um, Wow, you know, it's it's just, it is different. You know, I turned 50 a year ago. Um, I have this extraordinary life at the Muni and and what that is. So for me, I can sort of look at it and go, wow, I really, I, I actually have a life in the theater. I actually do this. <laughs> and people, this, this, this actually happens. And, you know, actually the Muni thing is, was so interesting because, you know, when you talk about win or lose, I mean, we're four days into rehearsal of My Fair Lady. I mean, it was painful to have to leave that. I know it sounds ridiculous. But, you know, I get to get on the plane tonight and, and come home to that, and we open in a week, and, you know, it, it's I'm just very, very lucky. When you were in college at St. Louis University, what was your major, and did you ever think you would end up doing this, Mike Isaacson? Um, my major was English, which was, you know, in those days, translation of I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> And no, I, I, I never, never thought. It, it actually all began many, many years ago when someone turned to me in St. Louis and said, um, well, why don't you do what you've always dreamed of doing? And I was like, what's that? Like, be a Broadway producer. I'm like, well, how can I do that? And they said, I don't know, take David Faye to lunch. And he was running the box at the time, and I took him to lunch, and it was all crazy. He hired me, and that was the first thing. It's a great story. A couple of weeks, a couple of years ago, you asked me if I could get a hold of Darren Chris from you. Uh, I bet you Darren Chris wants to get a hold of you these days. <laughs> yeah, that would be that would be nice. Yeah, he's great. He's, 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 I think he's about to finish up in Hedwig here. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, we'll let you go, Mike Isaacson, but you got to get back. The Muni starts next week. My Fair Lady, yeah, the 97th night season. Monday night. Monday night. Congratulations, and make, make sure you uh, take Thanks, care man. of that Tony on the way back to St. Louis. You got it. Thanks. Thank My, you. You got it. Mike Isaacson, uh, Tony Award winner for Best Musical, along with uh, Jack Lane from Sages, another one of those producers from last night. And the Muni starts uh, June 15th. My Fair Lady. 97.7.